Hello, my name is Alejandra, and today I will be talking a little about, about nuclear bombs, kind of how they work, the different types of nuclear weapons there are. So, um, so what is a nuclear bomb? So it's considered just to be a nuclear weapon. So these weapons are designed to release energy in an explosive manner. They're probably the most dangerous weapons on Earth. So nuclear arms use nuclear energy to create an explosion. So this energy is contained in atomic nuclei and released in atomic reactions and radioactive decay. There are two types of nuclear bombs. So there are fission weapons, which are weapons whose explosive output is exclusively from fission reactions, which is probably something we've heard of more like atomic bombs, um, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. And then we have fusion weapons, which are weapons that produce a large proportion of its energy in nuclear fusion reactions. So examples of this would be thermonuclear weapons, which are also known as um, hydrogen bombs. So atomic bombs, like I mentioned earlier, are, um, you know, powered by fission reactions. So the way that this works is that an excess of energy is released when nuclei of heavy atoms split into smaller and lighter nuclei. So the first atomic bomb that was built was during World War II, and it was under a program called the Manhattan Project in New Mexico. The first atomic bomb to be used, um, and I think we've all learned about it in history at some point, was in warfare used um, by the United States to bomb Hiroshima on August 6th in 1945. They use um, uranium-235 to obtain the maximum amount of energy during that explosion. So here in the corner, you can see a picture of the explosion after the Hiroshima bomb. So how an atomic bomb is launched. So a weapon like this looks like an elongated rounded torpedo. There's another picture up in the corner on the right. So this nuclear explosion occurs because a certain mass of fissile material is concentrated in one place. So it's known as critical mass. When that critical mass is reached, a nuclear decay reaction is formed with the release of energy. But in order for a powerful explosion to occur, one critical mass isn't enough. You need about four to five for a bomb to be destructive. So um, guided explosion is needed to reach the critical mass. So for example, if you put an explosive on the outside of a bomb and you detonate it, when it's properly exposed, the space inside the bomb will shrink um, towards the center and this will cause the density of the uranium, which I mentioned is what we use for um, what they use for atomic bombs, uh, that density of the uranium increases and results in a nuclear explosion. The second type of nuclear bombs we have are hydrogen bombs, and they use a fusion reaction. So the difference between this fusion reaction and the fission reaction was that fusion reactions, um, the nuclei fuse together to form larger and heavier nuclei instead of splitting. So this occurs when one when extremely high temperatures and pressures act on the original nuclei. So hydro hydrogen bombs, also known as thermonuclear bombs, can be hundreds or even thousands of times more powerful than atomic bombs. Um, a hydrogen bomb, though, has never been used in battle or war, but it's said to be possible to wipe out entire cities. They have had um, hydrogen bomb like tested to see how it works, but it's never been used in warfare. So how a hydrogen bomb works as opposed to the atomic bomb is that energy is released due to thermonuclear fusion. So a fast explosive reaction takes place inside the charge with the help of elements like deuterium and tritium. So the main effective substance in this is lithium hydride. So the detonation is carried out by an integrated nuclear device with low power. When that detonator is activated, the energy is released and it triggers an explosion explosive thermonuclear reaction inside the bomb. So we can see at the bottom the different stages um, of how that bomb starts and then how it um, ignites and explodes. So here is uh, kind of the main differences between that atomic and hydrogen bombs. The atomic ones, um, like I mentioned, use fission and it's the splitting of a large atom into two smaller ones. And with the hydrogen bombs, it's a 
a lot more powerful and it's the fusing of two or more atoms into a larger one. So in theory, um, it is uh, thought to be possible that a thermonuclear weapon could wipe out all of life from the face of the earth. It is much, much more powerful than an atomic bomb. And that is basically the main differences of the different types of nuclear weapons that we have, how they work, and I hope you enjoyed and learned something today.